Hello everyone, this is Christian Mount Exiton Interactive, and if you've ever needed to, or at least wanted to, be able to send an email from your ASP.NET uh, web application, this video is for you, because we were going to take care of adding that exact feature right now. Alright, so let's go ahead and get started now. So the first thing that we're going to do is to uh, install MailKit. So we'll go up to Dependencies, Manage NuGet Packages, we'll go with the Browse, and like I said, it's MailKit. And first one here, so at the time of this video, we're going to install version 2.0.6. I know you can't read that very well. Give a second to install everything. And we're good to go there. All right, so the first thing that we're going to do is to, um, so most of the emails that we're going to send, we won't need it. But for completeness, I have come across the need to send out an attachment a time or two on an email. So while we're at it, we're just going to, to take care of that. So I'm gonna go into our features folder inside the messages or messaging folder. Right click, add new class. Not surprisingly, we're gonna go ahead and call that class attachment. All right, so we have our class, create our constructor here. And what I'm going to want to pass into this thing is a file name. It's like capitalize the end file name and an object which is the content. I'm going to make a few properties here. So object content and string file name. And I do also want to. We're going to go ahead and. Uh, Create an enum here. So public enum attachment type. Really, the attachments that I've sent so far are mainly they contain JSON, but I thought you know might as well deal with the possibility. Maybe we'll just send text as well. So let's we'll create uh, we'll say JSON and text for our type here. Come back up to the constructor. We'll say our content is equal to the content. The uh, file name is going to be equal to file name. Oops, and of course I forgot to make a property. So property and attachment type. We'll just keep it with type. Come back in and say type. Type, we're just going to default it to text. All right, so uh, what we need now is We'll see later why, but uh, what we're going to head and do now is to have our attachment here automatically be able to take the content and we need to um, take that and spit out a stream for it. So we'll make a, a method, an async method, task, and why do I have it as task? Stream to fix that. So content to stream async. All right. So now we'll start off by saying string text. We're going to switch on the type and let's keep them in alphabetical order, I guess. So text is going to be equal to newtonsoft.json.json converter dot serialize object and oops content. So all we have done is use newtonsoft to convert our object into JSON. Break on that text 
we'll just say text equals content dot to string. I don't know. Maybe we have to do something more with that later on. I'm not thinking of it right now. Like I said I've only really sent JSON in relation to these uh, web applications. And we'll just say throw new argument out of range exception. All right, so now we are ready here. So what we're gonna type here, normally I'd put an extension method, you know, a string or an object extension method. Well, I guess in this case, I would have it all wrapped up, but uh, you know, we're gonna put it right here. That way I don't have to remember from video to video where I put things. So we'll say stream new memory stream writer stream writer and pass in our stream and the encoding. We'll just use UTF-8. Use whatever you want. We'll wait writer dot write. Oops, async. Pass in the text. No beeping at me. Await writer dot flush async. Set the position back to zero. Return the stream. All right, so now we're able to convert the content that we pass in to a stream so they can be attached to our email. And while we're here, we'll just clean these up. So our attachment is done. So let's go ahead and close that. Back to the messaging folder here. What I'm gonna do is add new item and I'm gonna use a, add a new interface. So we're gonna create the service that we're going to use to send out emails. So I'll say I message service CS. And for the moment, we'll just have one method on the service. And so what do we want? That'll be a task and send, oops, <laughs> send email async. It's gonna have several properties or, or uh, parameters here. So we'll just give it a bunch of space. And so what I'll do is say string and from display name string from email spelled right address string to name to email address Need the subject message and any attachments that we might have. All right, so we have the one method. I like to keep it uh, some, you know, sort of base class, so I don't need, or, you know, base type, so I don't have to, you know, new up some object to send off an email if I need to. In the end, we'll have more methods that will, you know, encapsulate some settings for these. So we'll go ahead and save that. Time to add a new class here, not surprisingly called message service. All right, so we'll come to our message service here. We'll just get rid of all of these. We'll need some of them in a minute and we're going to implement the iMessage service. Go ahead and give me all my stuff. A little bit hard to read, so how about a Moment of formatting. All right, so we have our method here. And what we're gonna do is start by, say for email equals new mime message. So that'll bring in mail kit or mime kit. And in here we can say email dot from and we'll add new mailbox address and we'll pass in our uh, from display name from email address 
email dot two again new mailbox address and to name to email address another easy one set the subject go to our subject all right so now we need to create the body and uh, my intentions are to send out HTML um, emails so what we'll do is say var body equals new we have body builder there HTML body and that equals the message all right well I didn't just do it up there who will leave it alone all right so now we have everything except for if we have any attachments so var each and attachments attachment so using var stream equals await attachment dot content to oops content to stream async and of course I forgot uh, async up here all right simple enough now just to say body dot attachments dot add and we'll say attachment dot file name and the stream so now we have added the attachments now it's important or the actual sending of everything so we'll say using and the client equals new smtp client perfect we have a client dot server certificate validation callback. You may need to do some validation. Chain errors. Let's go ahead. Why, why, oh, why. But in this case, we're just going to say everything's fine. And then uh, may or may not need it. I've needed it in the past for different, um, you know, different providers. So what we'll do is go into the authenticate authentication mechanisms here, and we'll remove the XO auth two. Uh, not spelled correctly. All right. So these two lines here are going to be lines that you'll need to add in the information for your uh, particular setup. So client dot connect async. And what we need here is the host name. So SMTP host, obviously you need to put whatever it is. You need a port, whether that one or a different one. And may or may not need a or want or can do a secure connection or not. And we'll go ahead and configure a way to be false. We don't necessarily need it back on the same thread. And await client dot authenticate async. And of course, you'll need your username, and your password. Leave it up to you or that store and how it arrives into here. And then. Uh, we're basically ready now, so await client.send async the email. We'll do the configure await again. Disconnect true. All right. So, of course, the configure await. You know, may not be necessary in your particular situation, but we're being we're being safe here, and uh, so that takes care of everything for our message service. Now we are going to want to be able to, you know, send an email from either different controllers or different pages or whatnot. So we might as well just make it so that we can inject this service wherever we need it. And to do that, we'll go into the startup.cs uh, class here. 
and we'll come down here. We've got a little uh, services here going on, so let's go ahead and put this services dot add transient. We'll take if we ask for an I message service. We want a instance of the message service class. And with that done, we have now set it up so that uh, we can send email messages using uh, MailKit within our application. In the next video here, we'll actually use this to automatically send emails if our application encounters an exception. I'm just paranoid. I want to know if an exception has occurred so that I can at least attempt to fix it. But I will, uh, well, thank you for watching the video and I will talk to you in the next video. Thank you for taking the time to watch our video. I know that your time is valuable. If you like the video, please subscribe to our channel and click the thumbs up button as well as share the video with your friends. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, please leave them in the comments section below. And once again, thank you and I will talk to you in the next video.